right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where whom they may be or what they may look like pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. So just like the theme of the song had referenced, you know, love. And love, according to the scriptures, is not the love according to this world. All right. So let's go to Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So if you love your brother, you're not going to do anything ill towards your brother. If you love your brother, you're not going to pop his wife. You're not going to steal from him. You're not going to be jealous of him and want to overthrow him. All right. You're not going to have some wicked ulterior motive. Okay. If you really love your brother, it will show an action. But there's a lot of men who are actually deceitful and they don't love their brother. They might say it by word of mouth but their heart really isn't there. You have men, they'll do favors just to really have a motive to hold something over another brother's head later on. Rather, you know, maybe they'll be in front of some females or something and that will be a time for a brother to say, hey, you got that, that 30 bucks you owe me, right? Or it might be when you get mad and you got that 30 bucks. Okay, you have a lot of men their, their heart really isn't in the right place, okay? And they don't love according to the scriptures. Now let's touch on 2 John 1 and 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. So as the scripture says, man, love is actually keeping the commandments. And when you keep the commandments, that also keeps you from sinning against your brother. Keeping the commandments not only keeps you from sinning, sinning against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but true love keeps you offending the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, and your brothers, man. All right? Love is the fulfilling of the law, doing things the right way. And we understand being in this flesh, we're not going to be perfect right now, but we do things to the best of our ability. Okay? until the day that we are changed and we can actually keep the law perfect once we are under the new covenant, which we are not under right now, okay? And this is love that we walk after his commandments. So walking after the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that's love. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. And we're supposed to walk after the commandments as the instructions give us, man. Now let's go to Romans 12 and 9. Let love be without dissimulation. So your love towards a brother shouldn't be with a motive. It shouldn't be hidden behind some false disguise. Okay, you're not doing it with a sincere heart, but rather to put the brother in debt or to make a brother a slave or a servant under you to hold something over the brother's head or to gain the brother's trust just to try to stab him in the back. Okay? That's not the love of the scriptures. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. And that's what love is. Cleaving to that which is good and abhorring evil. So for example, it's in our law that a sodomite is supposed to be put to death. Someone who commits adultery, the male and the female, they're supposed to get put to death. That's actually love. 
love of this world is, you know, give everybody a hug, hand out pop tarts, you know, hug the sodomites, hug the pedophiles. Everybody's accepted. Everybody deserves to be accepted. Everybody deserves a piece of the pie except for those who serve God. That's how this world operates, man. Okay. And that's why a lot of people are going to be destroyed. Okay. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. And that's what we're supposed to do. Is cleave to the good and forsake the evil. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 10. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So the Lord loves those who keeps his commandments. And if you love him, you're going to keep the commandments. If you love Yahweh Shai, you're going to keep the commandments. But we also understand that we are not saved by the law. We are not saved based off of, you know, keeping the commandments. That's actually um, something that we try to present and push is that the law, statutes, and commandments are definitely important but also understanding that we are not going to be saved by the law. But nevertheless, it tells you in uh, Judges chapter 5 and 11 that we are supposed to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Okay, so a lot of people, they, they have their own definition of love, but it's not according to righteousness. It's not according to the scriptures, man. And that's why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has set up his men to teach these things unto you, teach it unto you the right way. Whether you hear or whether you forbear, that's not really our concern. Our main concern is just doing what the Lord asked us to do so that when he does come and he is coming with wrath, we can be saved from his wrath. Okay, because we definitely um, need that mercy definitely all right let's read deuteronomy 5 and 10 again and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments so the lord loves those who keep his commandments many have said the commandments are done away with how do you think the lord feels about them unless they be of the elect and they're you know predestined to repent with a sincere heart and to endure, most of these people, they're just ICBM food. They're food for the fire. They're fuel for the fire. Okay? The Lord is only dealing with those he loves and those that love him. And how, how does that go? The Lord loves those who keeps the commandments. Those who love the Lord keep the commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 30. In verse 6, and the Lord, thy power will circumcise thy heart, and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. So you have to love the Lord with all your heart and soul. That's what the Lord is requiring of us. We have to be about Him. Just like if you had a woman. Or if you have a woman, you want her to be all about you. You don't want her to be wishy-washy. Here, here she is. She's with you. But her mind is thinking about somebody else. You don't want no woman like that. You want a woman who's all into you. And you also want a woman that you can get all into, if you know what I mean. When you uh, make love to your wife, you don't give her half. You don't give her the tip. You give her the whole thing. Well, the same with this truth. You don't give the Lord just part of you. You don't give the Lord some of you. You got to give the Lord your all, man. You know, we got to go all in. All right? We have to go all in to the ability that's been given unto us because every man has his own ability. Not every man's ability is the same. Now, let's jump down to verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 16. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy power to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments. 
that thou mayest live and multiply and the Lord thy power shall bless thee in the land whether thou go to possess it. So that's for the Lord's elect, those who, you know, serve him, those who love him, those who love their brother, those who love according to what the scriptures say, good things await them, all right? But good and evil, this world seems to get all that mixed up. You know, you tell people what love is according to the Bible, they don't want to hear it. The scriptures also tell you that the more you love, the less you are loved. Because when you actually show love, people actually despise you. Because the love of this world and the love of the scriptures is not the same thing. Okay? I'm about to my destination. I'm going to come out here and um, teach on the streets. I was somewhere else, but when I parked, the raindrop started hitting my windshield. So now, you know, I'm going to another location where I'll have a covering where I'll be able to teach in the rain. Now, I'm pretty close to somewhere. Give me a second here, see what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just post up right here. Actually, yeah, I had to move. All right, let's try here. All right, so Deuteronomy 30 and 16 again, and I'm going to go on ahead and uh, hit these streets. Matter of fact, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter. You know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap it up. I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, give all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahweh Kakwadash. I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, hit these highways and hedges, man. Shalom.